Bobby Shmurda had everything going for him. Bobby's song, Hot Boy, gained popularity and led to a record deal with Epic Records. He also earned a good salary from appearances, $20,000 per performance, to be precise. At the time of this recording, Hot Boy had over 500 million views on YouTube and was certified platinum, which means it sold more than 1,000 copies. Even with the entire world at his disposal, Bobby Shmurda managed to land himself in legal trouble. At the height of Bobby Shmurda's fame, the NYPD arrested him and the rest of GS9 on multiple crimes, leading to one member being sentenced to almost 117 years in prison. If you're curious about how it all worked out for Bobby Shmurda, we've got you covered. This is an inside look into Bobby Shmurda's criminal history. Bobby's first documented arrest took place on June 3, 2014, while he was hanging out with some pals at his girlfriend's apartment. According to various sources, two cops were outside his girlfriend's home, preparing to execute a search warrant, citing drug use as the probable reason when they discovered the apartment door was already open. When they looked inside the flat, they noticed Bobby Shmurda holding a joint in one hand and a pistol in the other. The two cops then arrested all four occupants in the residence, charging Bobby Shmurda with criminal possession of a weapon, a crime. Bobby informed police that the gun was a prop for a music video, but I don't think the cops believed him. It was also revealed that Bobby's side of the tale differs significantly from the one offered by authorities. According to Bobby Shmurda, the officers reportedly rushed inside and placed everyone up against a wall before tearing apart the residence until they found anything. The cops discovered a pistol and chose to charge Bobby with illegally possessing it. They then placed Bobby in the back of a police car and held him there for more than eight hours. Evidence later revealed that none of Bobby Shmurda's DNA was found on the gun, and court filings indicate that Bobby's lawyer intends to challenge the search warrant because it was allegedly issued under false pretenses. Bobby Shmurda's next run-in with the law occurred toward the end of the summer of 2014. According to several accounts, Bobby Shmurda arrived with a group of individuals to perform at a Queens club. When Bobby arrived at the club, he was hailed by several cops who were waiting for him. The cops examined Bobby's vehicle and discovered a potentially harmful substance, a joint. After discovering the deedly kush, the cops dragged everyone out of the car and detained them right away. Bobby's manager, Donny Flores, went to the precinct and got them out quickly. In the end, no one was charged with the heinous act. This following arrest is arguably the one that everyone is most familiar with. Bobby Shmurda and friends were leaving Quad Studios, the same recording studio where Tupac was shot and robbed in 1994. Early on Wednesday morning, December 17, 2014. According to several sources, Bobby and 14 other people were arrested. Among the other 14 were his brother Javese and a close friend and fellow rapper named Rowdy Rebel. Bobby Shmurda faced allegations including conspiracy to commit murder, reckless endangerment, drug possession, and gun possession. Bobby faced 8 to 25 years in prison. Some of the other affiliates faced charges including murder, attempted murder, assault, and drug selling. These charges carry life in jail. Bobby Shmurda pleaded not guilty to the charges the next day and was ordered imprisoned on a whopping $2 million bond. According to various media publications, the NYPD has been investigating GS9 for quite some time, even before Bobby Shmurda became well known. According to the authorities, GS9 is a gang rather than merely a rap group as Bobby maintains, and they have been accused of trafficking drugs, shooting at crowds in public areas, and engaging in deadly conflicts with other gangs. Cops even attempted to use Bobby's songs against him in a trial, but the Supreme Court ruled that they could not be utilized. Bobby Shmurda stayed in jail for over two years before being condemned. Bobby Shmurda accepted a plea offer for his charges, according to reports from September 2, 2016. The deal he made was that if he pleaded guilty to one count of third-degree conspiracy and one count of weapon possession, he would only be sentenced to seven years in jail, which was clearly preferable to the eight to twenty-five years he was facing. Other terms of his arrangement included the fact that he could not appeal the sentence, but in exchange he would be given credit for the two years he had previously spent, reducing his sentence to five years. He would also be sentenced to five years probation upon his release. Bobby was later revealed to have been offered a better bargain than the one he chose, but he declined so that his friend Rowdy Rebel might spend less time. The original plan was that Bobby would serve only five years while Rowdy Rebel would do 12 years. 
but they also proposed that if Bobby served seven years, Rowdy would receive seven as well. This was an exceptionally charitable act on Bobby Shmurda's part, but according to the New York Times, Bobby expressed regret in court, saying, I want to drop my plea. I want to drop my plea and fire you. The attorney forced me to take this plea. I was forced. Bobby's plea stipulated that he could not appeal. Therefore, the judge dismissed his request and sentenced him to the seven years they agreed upon. After Bobby's sentencing, his lawyer Alex Spiro stated that he expects Bobby will be released in three and a half years if he maintains good behavior. Bobby Shmurda is currently behind jail at the time of this recording, although his family reports that he is in excellent spirits. Bobby had a few episodes during his first few years in prison that put him into trouble. The first one was when his girlfriend was caught trying to sneak in Shank to give to Bobby in 2015. Bobby received a four-year term in 2017, but would face no further prison time because the penalty would run concurrently with his present sentence. Bobby was involved in a Bloods vs. Crips brawl in May 2015 and another brawl in November 2016, which resulted in his solitary detention for a month and loss of phone privileges. However, as of 2017, Bobby has been staying out of trouble inside bars and is still expected to be freed on schedule. Bobby's parole hearing was scheduled for August 2020, and his conditional release date was scheduled for December 11, 2020. He has a long career ahead of him. Despite his incarceration, Shmurda's influence endured. His story became emblematic of the pitfalls faced by many young artists, caught between the lure of fame and the realities of street life. His fans rallied behind him, chanting Free Bobby in solidarity and keeping his music alive through streams and downloads. After serving nearly seven years in prison, Bobby Shmurda was released in 2021 to much fanfare and anticipation. Under the supervision of other community members in Kings County, New York, he will be on parole until the completion of his whole sentence on February 23, 2026. Rapper Quavo picked up Shmurda from prison on February 23, 2021. His return to the spotlight was met with celebration as fans eagerly awaited new music and hoped for a fresh start for the talented rapper. In many ways, Bobby Shmurda's journey reflects the complexities of fame and the resilience of the human spirit. His story serves as a reminder of the power of music to transcend boundaries and the importance of second chances in a world often quick to judge. As he continues to write the next chapter of his life and career, one thing remains certain. Bobby Shmurda's impact on hip-hop will be felt for years to come under the supervision of other community members in Kings County, New York. He will be on parole until the completion of his whole sentence on February 23, 2026. Rapper Quavo picked up Shmurda from prison on February 23, 2021. Bobby Shmurda's career has been a roller coaster of highs and lows, but he is now on a new route that will lead to atonement and better days ahead. Despite several difficulties and disappointments, Shmurda's fortitude has shown through leading him to a brighter future. Shmurda is back on track now that he has been released from prison and has a new sense of purpose. He is focusing his energies on his music and looking forward to the chances that await him. His recent performances and collaborations represent a potential comeback, demonstrating his tremendous talent and persistent will to succeed. Unlock the truth behind every bar. Subscribe to Bars Behind Bars and witness the raw power of hip-hop, even behind prison walls. Join us as we rewrite the rules of the game, one rhyme at a time. Don't miss out. Hit subscribe now.